Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello there, and what I've got on the table for you today, well, actually this came this morning, Monday. The postman didn't bring me no bills. He bought me a box and some kits, and there's gonna be another one done just after this one, which I'm gonna put up. Uh, two kits he bought me, which I'm very pleased about. As you, as you can see, it's the OQF 40mm Bofors anti-aircraft gun. Mark, I suppose that's one stroke three, British version. Now, if you've been following, following me what I've been doing, you know that at the moment I'm building the uh, Bedford uh, Bofor gun tractor, and this is to go behind it which I'm very pleased it's turned up so I can get on with this. So, we'll have a, a, a look at it. Uh, not much on the box. Uh, is that a little bit of, oh, a little bit of photo edge in this one. Not too much. It's on the other side. Uh, to be honest, I've not really looked. Come on camera. Uh, we get a spare barrel with it as well. That's pretty cool. And the ammo boxes, and that's pretty cool as well. So, without further ado, we'll get the lid off if I can get the lid off. And what have we got? One large bag. Right, let's uh, open this bag and just see what we've got. And we'll put that back in the box. Let's make the package well. Right, oh, and we've got bags inside of bags and everything. Uh, we've got one sprue there with the decals, decals, transfer stickers in it, and a little bit of photo edge. Uh, so, how many sprues have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Seven sprues, not many sprues, but there again, it's not a very big gun. And a very big workshop manual. We'll put the box down and we'll have a look at the workshop manual. And then I'll drop the camera down and we'll have a look. Uh, well, it's just got a bit about the Bofors gun, when it was made, who invented it, who made it. Telling you who it's served with, just at the front. Not too much. Uh, and to be honest with you, I've never done a Bronco kit before, so this is going to be interesting because, like I say, I've never done it. Sprue maps, I don't even know how their books work. Well, they're nice and clear and big. Right, barrel, and breech, all going together here. Uh, Stabilisers and bits and pieces, which I don't know all what they are, because I'm no expert, I'll keep saying that, but I normally am by the time i finished it, because this is the way I work. Let's buy it, let's put it together, then become an expert on what it's all about. It's uh, no fun being an expert, buying it and putting it together, because there's no fun then, because you don't learn to think. Right, uh, it's not too complicated, a bit of photo edge. I gather that's, what's that there? To be honest with you, I don't really know what that is. I haven't really got a clue. And um, I will find out when I'm building. <coughs> and it's the actual uh, base plate for it to, that it actually sits on. Everything is explained. Uh, the front shield. I don't know what these bits are, I haven't got a clue. I'll just hum when I don't know what bits they are. <laughs> right, uh, well that's self-explanatory, that's the uh, chassis for the wheels to go on, that it's actually towed on. All right, I can see what that is. Uh, quite a lot of bits and pieces going on that. This is gonna be uh, quite a nice little interesting build which I'm looking forward to doing actually. Uh, stabilising arms. 
very much similar to sort of like the 88 millimeter chassis uh, same sort of principle but that their arms drop down where these ones swing in very nice just lots of little bits I like lots of little bits highly engineered that's what I like I'm all for highly engineered things uh, let's see the wheels are in That'd be nice better paint them before you actually put them together which will be nice make a nice neat job onto the chassis oh that's the must be the gun side yeah self-explanatory and then by the look of it there's two different types yeah i'll get more into that later on and that will be then complete and just showing you on the back color markings which is going to be the standard uh, drab olive drab yeah olive drab what other color could we could we have anything exciting well i'm going to drop the camera down i'll open these bags and we'll have a look at the screws right the first screw sprue i said screw then yeah sprue Right, uh, what have we got on this one? Looks like ammunition boxes, barrel ammunition. Uh, this must be for the spare barrel box. And by the look of it, the camera focus, I think they might be empty shell cases. Yeah, we could be right there. On to the next one. Right, what we got here? I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I'm gonna have a good stab. Uh, I'd say that's some sort of uh, towing hitch. Definitely cleaning rods. Uh, something probably for the, the base plate. That's definitely the uh, sights. Arms. But everything's nice and clean. I like. And there's two of these sprues. The wheels. Lots of little bits. I can recognise that bit. Uh, we've got a seat there. Look. And we've got some pegs just about there to stabilise it down. Yeah, but it's all nice and clean and tidy. Yeah, we've got two of them sprues with the wheels on. There we go, we've got another seat, I can pick that one out as well. Everything seems nice, there's no flash. And uh, this one I think we've been shortchanged on, but uh, we've got all these parts over here. And we're right the way across here, look, we've got the... Uh, that's your main gun carriage. I'll pick it up. So it's all on its own, so right at the end. But there you go. Must be a reason for it. On to the next one. And we've got a uh, breech. Another barrel. Ammo. Side supports at the top there, all nice and clean, nice and tidy, nice detailed. I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. And we go on to the final sprue. We'll do this bit at a time. Gun shield. No, we won't gun shield. That's a little something for the bottom. Well, we've got another breach there, there's the gun shield. Got two gun shields in the camera. Oh. Lots of little bits and you know by now I like little bits because the small bits build up into nice detail. Springs in. 
That'd be interesting because they've only one like mini art ones. They've got a tendency of fracturing when you cut them off. And also we've got another little bag with just little butterfly screws on there. That would be interesting putting on. And the wheels, and we've got four of these. As you can see, they've got a nice tread pattern on there. And these would be nice because uh, there's virtually no clean up to do on them. So you've got that whole seam around the middle. Yeah, I like them. Uh, then we've got a tiny little uh, spring, which I would say was going to go into somewhere around the gun mount there. Well, at the end of the barrel, should I say. A little bit of photo edge. Let's turn that there. You've got the different sides oh, there. Wow. Uh, yep, I'm really happy with that. And last of all, we've got. Get it up nice and close. We've got the decals, decals, stickers, transfers. Right, and that's it for this one. If uh, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like, like it. And I shall see you on the next one. Thank you very much for joining me.